Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Just trying to um, to make sure that my audio is working this time because last time it was not, and that was um, <coughs> incredibly frustrating because it was there chatting away for a good ten minutes, going through a couple of things. Yeah, okay, I can hear myself there. Sweet. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do uh, just in this short, quick video is um, a couple of people have asked about a um, a design. I suppose the trick I used in a, in one of the holes I was building last night in where I blended the bunkers directly into the water. There was no edges, there was none of this kind of um, like a dirt track uh, type border to what I was using. Um, so they were just curious as to how I went and did that. Now, I mean, the, the trick can apply to pretty much every surface. You can use it for bunkers, you can use it for rough, you can use it for your fairway. Um, so I, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I've already got water pre-built here um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I suppose just do it here so what you need to do first is obviously you need to create your um, your lake so you need to s use your sculpting tool so I tend to use the landscape rays I'll just use, you know and I'll basically drop down a certain level create a nice little hole like that one is there then after that point, once I've the hole created, I'm straight into um, the create add function. Down halfway down there, you've got create water, and you want to just put in the water as you want it, at the exact level you want that water to be at. That's what you do. Okay, so I've got mine in there already. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do is just raise the water up just to give you an idea of, I suppose, what I'm, what exactly I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to make that brush a little bigger just so it kind of fits the plot I'm not really I don't really care too much if it doesn't hit down there in the bottom right hand corner by the the waterfall I don't like this course is not really gonna have too many of these um, perfectly blended edges um, I just want to demonstrate what exactly or how exactly to do it so once you've your water planted essentially what you want to do is you just want to place water underneath the water that's already there and what that does is it pretty much tricks the game into believing that the second water you've added is the actual water and the one on top is literally just cosmetic so if we go ahead and you know do that so we just drop the level of the water down ignore those edges over on the, the left hand side there and what you'll find is that dirt track begins to disappear i can go a bit lower and it just brings that edge further and further in and you can see there now that I've got pretty much got rough running into um, into water. I'm just going to back out here because I I need to. Um, I probably should have made sure it was deeper the first time. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you here how we can go ahead and I suppose make that blend pretty easily. So you've got that dirt track is now gone it's literally just rough so now what I want to do is just place down a patch of rough there and there we go simple as very very straightforward now you've got rough blending into um, into your water I can back out of that there let's try something else so um, if for you know argument's sake you want to be really really horrible to <laughs> the people who are playing your course I wanted to have water blend into your, um, or sorry, fairway blend into your water. Same principle again. Now you've got perfectly blended water edges on your fairway. Now it's it's a bit mean to do that. I mean I, d I don't know how you stop a ball going in there, but um, that'd be the general idea. Um, so let's come away from there now. And that's like that's it. It's it's fairly like straightforward. What you all you're doing is you're just tricking the game into um, into believing that the water level you've just inserted is the um, I think that's the one I picked. Let me just delete this. And fingers crossed it works. Do do do. Uh no, what am I after doing? <laughs> that's not the one. I'm just gonna remove the one I placed down just so I don't forget. Um. But yeah, it's just tricking the game. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to go over here and do a quick um, example for bunkers and stuff like that. 
Um, so again, we're just going to go and create the depression. So there's a nice little hole there. Ooh, we already have water there, so I'm actually just going to raise that up a little bit because I don't want to actually mess around with the um, the actual water level. I want to make this completely um, using my own levels. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is just create water. just random little pond in there so now one like this is I suppose the, the thing that an awful lot of people are coming up against I'm just going to chuck a couple of surfaces down here and just show you um, I suppose what is happening and, and how you can get what you want so we'll just go to create add create surfaces I'm just going to throw down I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bother splining them I'm just going to throw some um, stock shapes down there so there's a bunker going to be there you can see again that it's already got that dirt track kind of border to it. You've got it, got your sand there, but you're still kind of cut off. You've got that dirt track in between there and the water. Again, you know, if you're looking for that, you know, off you go. But if you want that really, really kind of clean cut, blended edge to it, and I'll sh show you how to do that now in two seconds. So we're just going to throw a couple of different surfaces down here. So we're going to throw green down. Um, and again, I'm just going to use random brushes and surfaces. So we also I'm just throw down some heavy rough, or not heavy rough, but just some light rough. Is that even touching the water, actually? Yes, yeah, so this is a very, very common one with rough, as you start to see just it, it creates these like jaggedy edges to it rather than creating that. Um, the actual circle brush that you're using by putting in that border there for you it's a uh, it's annoying but I suppose that is just the way it is um, and then here we've got the fairway so we've fairway we've rough we've green we've bunkers now literally again just by using that same principle over there the, um, that we used on the first hole by just literally I'm gonna raise it up just to show you that it's there that I'm not trying to fool you by doing something magical although you know <laughs> when in Rome um, so we're gonna drop this down so we know that I'm still going down now at this point so we do know that I'm definitely below the level of the, um, the water and there you go every single one of them has an edge now aerially I can still see, I can still see the rough up top. I can see the fairway to the left, the green, the bunker. I can see the whole bunker. It's a small price to pay, if you ask me, um, for it to look as clean cut as possible. Because when you're at the ground level, like if I decide, let me see, like if I decide I want to play a shot, like I can't really see underneath that water. So from an, an actual playing perspective. Yeah, you're, you you know it's it's not going to change anything. But I suppose if you're looking at the aerial views or some flyovers, it might look like there's actually no water there. But what it is is you've just fooled the game into thinking that the water is actually that little kind of patchy circle in the middle, rather than being this big massive um, top layer that we have there. So another. Um, I suppose another thing just just I suppose to make sure you do get it right and stuff like that it has you have to place down a level of water and then place underneath it because if you place water there right and let's say I decide to let's raise that brush up let's say I decide to place it above it and try and create the same thing all you're doing is telling the game that the water level at the bottom is not there at all and you've gone ahead and placed more water on top so that's taking over you've told the game that the top level is now the um, is now the water so what you want to do is that the second level you played you place is going to 
tell the game that that's where the water is so the top level of water will always be cosmetic the bottom level will actually be your bottom level and that creates your clean edges all right so that's pretty much for me again very very straightforward but i think it's just easier to uh to show you in a, in a demonstration rather than um, just trying to explain it because I don't know I'm, maybe it's, I'm not the best at explaining things or it's just it's easy to confuse it um, with what you're doing and you just get frustrated I remember it took me ages to figure it out it wasn't <laughs> it's a very very simple thing but you know someone was trying to explain it to me through text and I would just wasn't getting it I was trying and I kept ending up with essentially what this looks like down here now thankfully for this course that's exactly what I'm looking for I'm looking for those kind of dirt tracks but um but yeah so that's it uh, very straightforward and I hope this helps and I hope you um hope you achieve what you can with your courses I'll be doing some more videos over the next few weeks with a couple of the projects that I have um so be sure to check them out bye bye